This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. One of the simplest ways to take input is to just make a sprite follow the user's mouse position. You can get the X and Y location of the mouse using world X. Yep, right here, world mouse X, world mouse Y. This follows the pattern you learned with sprite properties. Yes, the mouse has properties as well, like uh, sprite.x. X is a property. All right, world is the name of the object, such as the sprite's variable name. Mouse X and mouse Y are the name of properties. Yeah, don't let that trip you up. What they're saying is like when I do var bug equals sprite, var is the object. Var, uh, I mean, bug is the object. Bug.x is the property. Do this. You are making... You're going to make a B sprite following the mouse around the game area. The B image is already loaded in the animation tab, so it is. Create a B sprite that draws in the center of the window. All right, let's start there. So I'm going into sprites, and first we need a variable, and then I need to set the animation. What's the center here? Well, if I hold my mouse towards the center, I know, but it's 200, 200. Yep, right there, 200, 200. So perfect, it sets our sprite to 200x, 200y. I'm going to name our B, B, because that makes sense to me, and B, and let's make sure to pick the correct animation, and I hit run, and nothing happens. We have to draw the sprite. So I know we're going to probably want it in the draw loop, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now instead of putting it outside of it. So draw sprites, drop. Okay. Create a B, draws, yep, we got that. Inside the draw loop, update the position of the sprite to the position of the mouse. Okay, so set the X position of the sprite to the value of world.mouse. Set the X position of the sprite. All right, well, our sprite's named B here, so I'm going to go into sprites. Sprite.x, and if I pull this out, yep, it gives me an equal sign. So B.x, and I'm going to set it equal to, right? Okay, so I guess equal to world mouse.x. Now, I'm missing some stuff. I know that. Let me erase that one. Whoa, you see that? Because when I move the mouse, the computer 30 times a second, right, that's how often the draw loop runs, is checking, wait, what's the mouse's X location? Okay, that's the B's location. Make the B's X location equal to the mouse's X. Y doesn't matter. We don't change that at all. <laughs> now, I need to blank out the screen each time. Otherwise, the B smears across like we saw, right? So draw loop runs so fast, we would never see a blank screen. But we do need to blank out the screen every time to make sure we don't see it smear like it did. I'm going to steal their idea and do a sky blue. So I'm going to put this at the top, right? Because if I do it down here, the sky blue work, we'll find out. Yep. If I do it down here, it draws the sprites and covers them up, right? So we don't want the background to paint over the sprites. We first want to draw the paint the background and then draw the sprites down here. Okay. So now it doesn't smear, but we need Y still. All right. So sprites Y. B's Y value is going to be equal to world.mouse Y. <laughs> That's cool. Run the program and test if it works. We have a moving B. This is going to make the challenge that I'm about to do uh, the next one a lot easier now that we have this set up to go. Hurrah! <laughs> Onward. Oh, it's fun.